Okay, so seventh blues. I'm gonna try to run this slow and break it down into parts. So let's think of it in terms of the different chords. So bars one and three and four are all on that C7 chord. Bars seven and eight and bars 11 and 12 are on that C7 chord. So if we wanted to, we could run that bass line from the first measure in every one of those bars. So every time there's a C7, which means it continues if there's no chord indicated until a different chord is indicated. So bars one, three, four, seven, eight, 11, and 12 could all be done as this bass line, which are these notes, C, E, G, A. Now, if you want to play the bass line as written, then the these measures would be C, E, G, A, and this would be C, D, E flat, E to walk up to the F. Now the F bars, the same thing. Anytime that it's an F chord, we could play the same bass line as this written bar, which is F, A, C, D. And I would recommend probably playing that the first time through until you get a handle on the song. In which case the left hand would go like this. that bar to the same pattern on G and we're back at the top okay so that's the way to simplify the bass line now let's get into the right hand parts so notice that this says C7. So a C7 chord is a C major chord, C, E, G, with a flat seven, with a B flat. So C, E, G, B flat. Those are the notes there, C, E, G, B flat. So it just walks up, and if you notice here, it says triplet feel, so we're gonna swing those notes. So doing the right hand one bar at a time, first measure, second measure. And you can take these one at a time and learn these riffs and then put the whole thing together. Second bar, bar five is the same as bar two. Now bar six is gonna come down C, A, F, E flat. And now we're gonna go up like the first bar. This is very similar to that bar there. So C, E, G, B flat, G, E, G. Walking up the G7, G, B, D, F. Walking down the F7. So notice my fingers are covering that F7 chord. Now the right hand goes back to this position for the C7. So there's kind of hand positions that you should be in for each chord. So for when you see the C7, this is your position. Kind of like the C position on some of the easier songs that we do. Now we're expanding that out to put this B flat in there. When we go to the F, think of the F position that we've done before on easier songs in F, but we're adding the seventh on there. Okay, so those are the riffs. I would break them down individually and just get this riff. Notice this is pretty much, these four notes are the same as those. This is very similar to this. All these are almost the exact same thing. Okay, so there's a couple different riffs on C. And then this one comes down. down. This one comes down and goes back up. And this one comes down and goes up a little higher. So those are our C riffs. Off of the basic first riff. Okay, F riff. So I'm gonna do the whole thing as written, um, but I definitely encourage you to do those easier bass line parts. Here we go. And that's all we need to do for now is the first 12 bars. Eventually we'll add the improvisation over the second half of it, but I want you to get this part clean first. All right, so take it slow, pause it, go over the individual riffs, and hopefully this helps you get this song down.